I'm going to make first a real classic, big buttermilk breakfast waffles. To make waffles, you do need a waffle iron. I'll start mine preheating and get right into the batter, which is as easy to make as a pancake batter. First, I'll measure a cup and a half of all-purpose flour into a large mixing bowl. And I'll add a little bit of sugar, but not too much, because really the sweetness from waffles comes from what you put on top. You could top it with just fresh fruit or, of course, lots of maple syrup. Now, to make these waffles nice and fluffy, you need baking powder, three teaspoons, and half a teaspoon of salt. I'll just give that a quick little stir with my fingers just to blend it in. And now I'm ready for the wet ingredients. I think what makes a waffle so inviting is you have the crisp outside, all those little pockets, but yet the inside is soft and really just sort of light and fluffy. Buttermilk helps to achieve that. One and a quarter cups. And then you do need to add oil, half a cup. I need eggs, two in this case. But here's the big difference between a waffle batter and a pancake batter. You have to separate your eggs for a waffle batter because I want to whip the whites. So the whites go into a bowl on their own and the yolks into the liquid mixture. Just give this a little stir. Pour it into the flour mixture. And I just whisk it until blended. A few lumps are okay. You don't want to over mix your batter. The clean whisk, I'll just whisk the egg whites by hand because this is what makes the waffles fluffy. There we go. And I add this all at once to the waffle mix and just fold it in. Of course, you can flavor your waffle batter. You can add chocolate chips or blueberries if you want. You could add a little lemon or orange zest. You can really see how this batter has changed by folding in the whipped egg whites. It does have a wonderful lightness to it. For this size waffle iron, I get four giant waffles. It's already heated. When you add the batter, you don't have to fill the waffle iron completely. That batter will expand and fill every little space. I'll flip it over. I find generally a waffle of this size takes about three minutes to cook. I love this waffle recipe because you can make them ahead and if you don't eat them all, you can reheat them and they also freeze really well. Go. <gasps> it's waffle time. The smell of these cooking could coax anyone out of bed. Look at those. Whoa! And hot! I might as well make waffles from the rest of this batter. Oh, they smell so good. Ooh, beautiful. You can really feel how light they are. I think a little fresh fruit is a good idea. Dusting of icing sugar. And okay, if it was dessert, a scoop of ice cream or maybe a little whipped cream would be nice. But as a breakfast waffle, of course, nice drizzle of maple syrup on top. Now that is a breakfast treat. I can't wait to dig in. Mmm. So fluffy and light. Mmm.